Now, don't you start getting any ideas. <laughs> Stupid dog. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing Lamb. Bear with me while I say these names. It is directed by <coughs> Valdemir Johansson, starring Numi Rapaz, Hilma Schneer Gudnason, and Bjorn Hilna Haraldsson. Think I nailed that. I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Lamb is an Icelandic movie under the A24 banner, so yeah, you know it's gonna be weird. And Lamb tells the story of a farmland couple who somehow, quite mysteriously, find themselves raising a half-human, half-lamb hybrid as their own child. Yeah, I, I did tell you, it's, it's gonna be weird. Before we go any further though, if you could be a deer, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. It really does help me and the channel massively and we thank you if you do. The cinematography and directing in Lamb is sensational, straight out of the gates. Every single shot in this movie feels like a painting on a wall. It's just beautiful to behold in that sense. They have a fantastic sound design as well in the sense that they keep things realistic. You will be hearing a lot of footsteps squelching into mud and puddles, metal clinks of machinery, loud engines whirring, breathing and grunting as people do hard labour. I thought that was just masterful and so realistic. It really put me in the environment to the point that I could almost smell the cow shit around me. And I mean that in a positive way, I promise. <laughs> the director has a real understanding of building atmosphere in this movie. There are so many shots of animals looking concerned, riled up, stressed out, unhappy, and I can't even begin to imagine how difficult it was to get those shots. The same can be said for the locations. They're so bleak and yet beautiful. It's a real sense of fairy tale to it. Like this place doesn't even really exist. It's very well imagined and brought to life. Getting into the performances, I really did enjoy the acting here. I thought they were really quite tough roles to do well. They're quite subtle performances and I thought it really worked and blended well with the story. Numi Rapace plays a character that really is hurting on the inside but puts on a strong exterior and she does that very well. She does that very well in a lot of her movies to be fair to her. Numi Rapace's husband in the movie because I cannot say the actor's name. I thought he might be the best performance in the film actually. He Again, it's very similar to Numi Rapace in the sense that you can tell he really has some scars on the inside and he's just sort of toughened up over those scars. But when you touch those wounds, it hurts him. It really does still hurt him. And I thought that was very evident with his performance. And yeah, he was the standout for me. And the brother character, again, can't say his name, really good. Again, very subtle, understated. I thought he and his character arc brought a lot of depth to the other two characters. It really did fill in some of the blanks as to what we might not know about these people. And it let you attach to them a little bit more because if there is a downside to performances, it comes in the narrative writing in the sense that these humans act in a way that you might not see yourself doing. If you found yourself rearing sheep and suddenly a half sheep half human came out do you really think you would just wrap it up in a blanket and take it indoors or do you think you might be freaking out a little bit asking a lot of questions not knowing who you can trust because i'm pretty sure i would be and yet in this movie it's it's never questioned it's never really brought up it's just going to be a part of the story and we're just going to go along with it it's those little moments where it does make it very hard to attach and understand and stay in the believability of the story. The sheep-human hybrid baby itself, Ada, was fantastic. There's a really good blend of reality and puppetry at the same time, so you can tell the sheep's head is real but the, the arm isn't, things like that. And there's other moments where CGI is used and it's quite scary actually that it's become quite as seamless as it has. Despite the weirdness of the situation, you find yourself really liking Ada 
and probably finding Ada as the most likable and enjoyable character in the film. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say to that. But it's true, you do. You do find yourself really, really caring about Ada as a character, and that's a huge compliment to the movie. There are a few flaws with Lamb, however, and one of them for me is the pacing. On a narrative sense, this is quite a short, sweet story. You probably could have delivered it in about an hour, and yet this film is, I think, about two hours long, and therefore, at times, things can feel like filler. They do feel like they didn't have anything to put here, so we just put in a pretty landscape for a couple of seconds, and then we just showed some more animals. And it's it can wane on you a little bit. I imagine it's probably more noticeable on, on a second visit. And I'm not going to discuss spoilers, but I can absolutely guarantee that this movie is going to be made or broken on one single shot in this movie. You'll know, you'll know what scene I'm talking about if and when you see it. You, you, it's impossible to not know. You will know. And to skirt around it very carefully, yes, it caught me off guard and had me thinking, what the actual fuck? But at the same time, it, they did foreshadow it. It is hinted at. There are moments prior to it happening that they suggest that that is what is happening here. And I'm almost intrigued to watch it again and actually try and follow that through route there. As weird as it hit me, I was able to roll along with it because A, I was captivated and on the edge of my seat as to what the fuck is going on. But also, like I said, there is a logical reasoning to it. There is a thought process to it. It isn't just crazy for the sake of crazy. And I also really enjoyed the final shot of this movie. It's really open to interpretation and had me thinking for a good couple of hours afterwards as to what that could possibly mean. Does it uh, link back into the start of the movie? Or, I, you know, it really did have my brain ticking as to what was trying to be suggested with that final shot at the end there. And I love that about movies. I love films that can do that to me, that can get into my head and get under my skin and get this old piece of crap rattling. So I'm going to give Lamb a 10 out of 10. I'm probably being a bit kind and biased there because, as I mentioned, the pacing is a little bit off and characterization can be a little bit off. But that being said, I really did thoroughly enjoy the hell out of this movie. Admittedly, this is ticking all of my weird little artsy quirky boxes that I like, <laughs> and that might not work for you, understandably. So you do need to have a little bit of, you know, understand your own preference here. But I feel the movie had a lot of really interesting things to say, and they managed to deliver it in a really interesting and questionable way in a very memorable movie that I definitely want to watch again and just naturally enjoyed the hell out of with how beautiful it was and how unique it was. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button as well. Have you seen Lamb? What did you think of it? And what is your favourite A24 movie? What's your least favourite A24 movie? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.